Another Android 14 based custom room is here in our hands and we are going to talk about in this video about Project Blaze version 3.0 based on Android 14. This was also one of the good custom rooms based on Android 13 having Android 11 quick setting styles, good settings UI. If you want to know more about this Project Blaze version based on Android 13, you can check out my previous videos regarding Project Blaze. But in this one, we're going to talk about Android 14 based Project Blaze version 3.0 as this is based on Android 14. This is alpha version. So yes, you might expect some bugs and also it's not that much good in terms of customization, but it's just initial stage. Then like same like with the pixel experience, it will move to the beta stage and then stable stage because the new Android version comes. If you just want to explore new Android version things, then you can try it out. If you want to talk about the default launcher, nothing to talk about. It's pixel launcher as expectedly as launcher three based custom launchers are not coming very, very soon. But let's see for now. These are not there. Brightness slider is as you can see at the bottom and the quick settings panel is in light mode. This is why I just love this one because light quick settings panel according to me, my personal opinion of course, that light quick settings panel looks very nice if you use the light mode, if you use the dark mode, dark quick settings panel looks interesting. You also have the customized lock screen option, which is unfortunately not available in the Pixel Experience custom room. I just made a video on Pixel Experience Android 14 first look. If you did not check it out yet, you can go and check out. Although by clicking on customize lock screen, it doesn't open anything. As I just mentioned, it's in alpha stage, so you might expect some bugs and this is one of them. You will not be able to customize the lock screen, but you will be able to do that same by moving into the wallpapers and style options. You have the option to choose from these options, these customized clocks, which are already available by default in even Android 14 stock Android 14. You can choose the colors according to you. Sometimes it gives you force clues, but sometimes it works but let's see if whenever it co it will come in the beta stage and then it will come in stable stage how the thing behaves but for now this is what we have you have the option to customize the lock screen shortcuts also which is so useful i sometimes use ml left as torch right as camera which is quite useful for me in the terms of wallpapers section, you can see, you can notice we have the AI wallpapers available. AI wallpapers are one of the things which are so good. Although in my case, like in this project Blaze unofficial version of what I'm using right now in this one is actually AI wallpapers are not working. Let me tell you what type of error I'm getting. For example, if I customize these things, now, for example, if I choose this one and click on create wallpaper, click on I agree and then you will see that I will get some error like this one. Like in this case, it's not working as we just mentioned, it's in alpha state. So this might be the reason, but for now it's not working. I tried some other options too, but it was just not working at all. I tried with default settings, etc. Could be in my case only. I mean, whenever you will get update, things might get fixed, but for now, this is what we have. Settings UI because in Android 13, they customized the settings UI, settings UI, new settings UI was looking so amazing. But for now in Android 14, things are exactly looking like stock. So you might not expect all those things in this one right now, straight away. In display, we have some customizations, some useful things. For example, brightness slider. You have the option to customize the brightness slider position from top to bottom or bottom to top. Brightness slider also have the option to choose if you want to show this always or only when expanded or even you can simply choose the never option. Like in this case, I'm using at the bottom and you also have the auto brightness icon option available. You have some icon pack options available, although it is not having those customized icon packs like Pavlova, UI, Archerus or some other icon packs like that one. You have the option to choose the icon shape from. So that's good. I mean, if you use the default for launcher like pixel launcher some things are very useful like icon shape network traffic indicator is also included which is so useful and per app refresh rate if your device supports refresh rate other options like security and privacy which includes the fingerprint although face unlock is not implemented yet it will be there very soon but for now this is not available swipe to screenshot is so useful it's also present and we also have one more thing let me tell you if i move out the gestures navigation mode settings you will see immersive ui lock and back gesture edge lock these options are not available in pixel experience and even in evolution x os i guess so that's really useful these were things i just wanted to let you know hope you like this i will see you in the next one make sure to like this video goodbye